Yesterday when I got home, I couldn't wait to change into shorts. This morning it is 44 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 7 degrees Celsius. It's cold. Nothing will wake you up like 50 degree rain. I can ride bikes. today. I want to get Meredith coffee. It's raining now and cold. I'm guessing she's pretty tired because I'm tired. So I figured why not bring her coffee? Well, it's definitely raining out. This will test the mic's uh, water resistance. This wouldn't be a great day for it, but I've been looking around at drones for the vlog. The ones I've been looking at are more selfie drones. I don't really have a thousand bucks to drop on a Mavic Pro, which would be my pick just because of portability. So I've been looking at cheaper alternatives. DJI actually has an event on the 24th, which I think is next Wednesday. So I'm gonna kinda hold off until then to really make a choice, but I think that having a drone would be a little bit superfluous for me, but it would be really fun. It's a nice thing to play around with, get some better shots. Man, there's a lot of all over this lens. Anyway, at some point, I do kind of want to do a gear overview, talk about what I use, kind of on a daily basis, what's getting wet right now as I'm walking to the train. That's an interesting idea. Maybe when I get home, I'll do a gear overview, show you what I use shooting the vlog. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. I'll kind of over how it's done. So this particular view I think is a lot of the older architecture in the city of Chicago. Pretty cool that it's all grouped together like that. So I didn't pack a lunch today which was a mistake but we didn't really have anything great for quick packing and I was in a bit of a rush this morning. So I went to McDonald's to try to save money which is the second mistake. I tried one of the new signature craft sandwiches which is a third mistake. I got the grilled chicken with the barbecue bacon on the artisan bun. Their barbecue sauce, which you may have had with McNuggets, you may have already had their barbecue sauce. It's very, very salty and it just overpowered everything. So I would not recommend uh, the bacon barbecue. I regret it, my stomach regrets it. Don't do it, not worth it. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good rule with fast food, kind of stick to the staples, stick to the basics. Gotta make another light, I'm kinda late, so. Don't try any of the weird Taco Bell stuff, it's always bad. And with McDonald's, they're not gonna make great sandwiches. Stick to like the double cheeseburger, maybe a Big Mac or Mac Jr. Something more traditional, more predictable. Meredith had warned me about not trying the artisan sandwiches anyways. She didn't mean to warn me, she just said, that looks gross when we looked at a billboard. She was right. Also, in case you were wondering, it is 45 degrees and showers. <laughs> So this isn't very enjoyable. Not a fun day to be a bike courier. <laughs>
to surprise Meredith with a hot drink and drive her home from work. I also got myself a hot drink <laughs> because I need one. I'm tired and it is cold and I like Cortados from Brewpoint. <laughs> On a day like today, I'll tell you that. Sipping a hot drink. Okay. Originally, I'd planned to set up all of the gear that I used to make the vlogs on a desk and do a formal walkthrough of each of the pieces. I don't have time to do that today. I've got to go to the store and get stuff to make dinner. So, I'm still going to walk you through all the gear I use for the vlogs, but it's going to be a special Whole Foods edition. So the camera for these vlogs is my iPhone, and I'm gonna walk you through the four things I add onto the phone to get the quality you see. So first up is the microphone. Now I've got a Shure MV88 microphone. This is a mic that plugs into the bottom of my phone using the lightning port. There are actually three microphones inside of here, a front-facing mic, and then a left and a right microphone. This allows the microphone to selectively record in front of me while picking up less of the background noise around me. There's also this fuzzy cover that goes over it called a dead cat by Rycote, and that helps knock down some of the wind noise from a ripping loud noise to rumbling bass. Really helpful for a windy city like Chicago. On the other side of the phone, I have this wide lens from Moment. It's an 18 millimeter, 35 millimeter equivalent, and it attaches onto the back of the phone using a bayonet mount. You use this little white dot Line it up at the side and twist. Now it's on. Twist the other way and it comes off. A wide lens lets you get more in the shot from the same position. Here are some shots that were taken from the exact same point with the wide lens and just with the normal lens on the phone. I also have the Apple battery case. It's a little ugly, you can see this lump on the back. Looks like the phone swallowed an iPod. But I can still plug in the microphone in the lightning port on the bottom. It charges the phone about 80%, keeps it protected with a microfiber lining, and allows me full access to the bayonet mount for the camera. Lastly, I use this tripod. It has bendy arms with little rubber grips that seem to be coming off all the time. I can use it to wrap around poles or stand as a tripod and get good still shots for time lapses. I also use it as a selfie stick sometimes. So that's what I use to shoot the vlog. I'm a strong believer in shooting with your phone because you always have it with you. So that's why I use my phone as a base, and I have those add-ons. All right, time to head home. I think that's it for the vlog today.